They love candy bugs. You bought a candy bug, and now you don't know how to hang the candy bug. So instead, it just sits on a table. Let's get it off the table and onto the wall. So when it arrived and you unpacked it, you noticed, you noticed there was a lip here. And that lip goes all the way around. The lip is there so that a screw can get back there and hold it tight against the wall. So I used a two and a half inch, there's one, two and a half inch drywall screw, screwed it into the wall, and I left some space. Can you see how my finger fits back here? I left enough space so that this ring here that you see right there can get wedged in between the head of the screw and the wall. And then it sits and you can, <laughs> you can hang it straight like I always do, vertically. Or maybe you'd like it to tilt at an angle. But you see with one screw, it's just gonna move around. You need to have two screws to fit under this ledge to keep it from sliding around. Here it is on its side with the two screws. So you can see how that looks. I have that gap in between the head of the screw and the wall. That's where this is gonna go, right here. And then I like to make sure that one of the screws is gonna go up here, right in there, tucked in where the head is. Then the other one is just simply stopping the bug from sliding down and becoming vertical. So I lock it in here first, then I slide it down till the other one sits. Then I make sure that I don't have a gap here between the bug and the wall. If you have a gap between the bug and the wall, take the bug off and tighten these. Make sure that your gap is the right thickness. It should, this head of the screw needs to wrap around in here. There you go, I hope it helps.